Alright guys, welcome to this video. So I was just thinking and came up with an idea of these camera stabilizers, so these steady cam type things where you click your camera on top. I've already got a monopod with a ball head and I just thought I'm gonna have a play in the garage and see what I can come up with. So here you can see what I've got. So what I'll do now is show you how I kind of got to that point. So it's a little thin piece of wood and that there is a handle which I've kind of knocked up from uh, a broomstick. I just chopped the top of it off. So right now this is a DSLR and I've got a plate on the bottom of that which goes straight into this ball head joint which is then screwed onto my monopod. So it's a kind of standard thing that you can get. The It's just unscrew the plate off the bottom of the DSLR. But these are available on the, I think eBay or Amazon you can get these. They're called ball joints. Um, camera DSLR or something search. I'll put it in the description. But what I'm going to do is take the nut out of this because this nut's a little short and I'll need to make a little bit of a plate that I can stick on that. So I've got a longer version of this screw. It's one of those uh, quarter inch hot shoe um, screws. I've, all, I've also got, a, I'll put a description thing up in there or something to show you these things. But it's something I've already got. So you basically replacing the screw to make it a bit longer so you can technically go through the plate and the piece of wood. I'm just going to line up the wood with this plate and make a mark for where I want to drill the hole through so I can have that little bit of extended platform which I'm going to put the handle on. Um, so yeah, so once you've marked that out, you're basically going to drill that out um, with a quarter inch, I think it's a 6.5 millimeter drill bit, wood bit. Um, so I'll just get a piece of block of wood and stick that on there and then you can see that in process and um, but yeah this is just a bit of a tester I'm not sure if it's gonna work but I'm just playing about with this idea so it may be a fail but at least if you're thinking about a similar thing you'll see if it works or not so I'm just gonna saw a bit of that off which is there now so I've sawn a bit off a plate and just drill that hole out there and then we can see how this kind of finally works and you can judge because I'll give you a bit of a clip at the end to show you what if any stabilization it offers but in concept it sounds like it should work because I'm basically going to let the ball joint loose and let it just wobble so any movement is kind of taken into this the tri uh, monopod so there you can see I've got a longer version of that hot shoe one the first one was a bit too short so this longer one will hopefully go through the plate and through the wood so see that it's double the size of the first little one I had and I've got a few of these knocking about which I use to kind of just put lights on wood and stuff around. You may see my other project, the DIY project. I'll put a little card up. But now that's gone through. And that there, I'm just going to, for now, it's like a prototype. So I'm just going to screw a little screw straight through the wood um, plate, I'll call it, the top one, into the pole, which is going to be the handle. Let's just get these bits updated and get a thinner bit. So I've got a pilot hole to put a screw in. So I'm just going to go straight through the middle there. And hopefully the screw I need to find a decent screw that I can put straight through that won't crack the wood but hopefully with the pilot screw it shouldn't crack and um, so I've got a couple of them I've got a big uh, plasterboard type screw which is like two inches I think and I've got a, an inch one as well so I might do the inch so that's just a pilot hole in the top as well and let's just get those Phillips bit back on the drill and then we can just drill it straight through there we go, so that one's an inch and this one longer, I don't want to put the long one in, so I'll put that straight through and grab the handle at the bottom and just screw it straight into the handle. And then we'll see what we come up with, if this will be any good. It'll be interesting though, as a bit of a test I think. So there, you screw that screw straight into the handle and make sure it's secure. I've um, got a big lens on here to be fair, it's a 24 to 72.8. Um, it's probably better with a smaller lens, but we'll see what happens. Worst case, it'll, it'll snap and the, the camera will drop. But okay, so there. Okay, so now that looks ready to me. So I've got a little one of these screws that I'll, because that's coming out a bit too far, so I'll decrease that. So I don't want to go too far into the camera body. So that there is solid now. And then I'll screw the body onto this as I would have to the plate, but it's basically got another plate in between it. So there now, that kind of looks, it feels sturdy. I'm hoping that gives us something. If anything, at least I've got a handle to hold it with there. But yeah, okay, so now this will go onto the ball head joint. Let's clip that in, tighten the screw, and then I'll put it all onto the monopod. 
and then loosen up the the joints and see what we get so okay screwing that in there it's nice and tight so here we go that's what it looks like I didn't set up a mic because I was just busy messing about with it I thought I'll do a voiceover which is what I'm doing now so there you can see the bottom is just like a gimbal style thing so it's kind of moving so here we go this is from the camera directly recording and I'm kind of giving it I'm wobbling it quite a bit just to see what it feels like and you can be the judge of it see what you think I don't know is it look okay I'm not really used stabilizers so I might do that and see what that looks like but this is quite quickly I'm moving I should have moved a bit slower to show you it properly in it um, okay so that there you can see that's how much I'm moving there I'm kind of giving it quite a bit of movement which I wouldn't really do and it's quite dark outside at the moment I would have given you a outside one like following someone walking or something just to see what it looks like which would be the real use for it but inside it's limited what I can show you but okay so that there this is all the stabilized uh, on the I'll call it a stabilizer but it's not really and at the end here this is going to be just no, hand -holding hand -holding the camera and because I'm hand holding I'm moving it slower so I don't know what do you think is it any good but yeah at least that gives you an idea of what you can do if you mess about and play with stuff and hold it workshop set up and um, one day you'll get something that actually might work similar to my light where I've actually put a plank of wood on my tripod and I kind of reduces the amount of tripods I have so yep do with it as you please but here's what I've come up with so keep an eye out for my DIY projects